I was walking downtown around 9 a.m. in the morning near Wall Street and I came across Joby Aviation going public event. I knew about this company, but from what I remember, they stated that their prototype will be flying in 2024 and today they're going public and already have this beautiful aircraft tested and ready to go for the approval process. Super exciting news, the CEO Joe Ben Bervert confirmed 150 miles range with 200 miles an hour speed. This can really boost up short to medium distance travel, drop the price, but the most important is the great impact on the environment. No more needs for big airports will save on fees and taxes, more convenient and I think much faster and more flexible. For the city they can land on existing helipads. Let's listen to the CEO of Joby Aviation right before the market opens. By the way, the stock moved higher 32% in the first day of trading. You guys started in 2009. Today, you're becoming publicly traded here at the New York Stock Exchange. Your Joby aircraft, the EV tall that you're developing, is in the background there. Uh, how important is it that you are now going to say to investors, look, you can have a piece of the future with us? Well, that's exactly right. And uh, it's just such an honor to be here with you today. Uh, we're so excited about the opportunity to give everyone um, the ability to share in this really exciting journey as we move to a zero emissions future. You know, a lot of people, when I talk to them this morning, they're standing out here and they're looking at this and they say, when's that going to be flying? And I say 2024 and they go, I don't think so. What do you say to the skeptics who do who are doubting that you'll get it in service certified by regulators by 2024? So the Joby team is just incredible. We've been executing for more than a decade and uh, just day in and day out proving that we can make electric propulsion a game changer in aviation. This aircraft is incredibly quiet. It has amazing range and it's going to deliver a whole new mode of transportation to uh, people uh, in both cities uh, like here in New York and around the world. And uh, we're so grateful. We've seen the technology. We've seen your test flights. And when I talk with people in the industry, nobody doubts the technology. Where they do have questions about Joby and the other EV tolls being developed is whether regulators are ready for these in large numbers to be maneuvering around airspace in, an, in a city like New York. Are you confident that you can overcome that, that hesitancy that might be there? Oh, without a doubt. So the amazing thing is the FAA has been uh, laying the groundwork for uh, this electric uh, aviation revolution uh, for more than a decade. Uh, we've been working with the FAA since 2018 on our formal uh, type certification. We just applied for our 135 operating certificate and we're well underway on uh, the, our production certificate. So as we look forward to uh, the quarters ahead, we're focused on the certifying our aircraft uh, the manufacturing of our aircraft and the scaling of our service and you know this financing today really helps us accelerate the manufacturing and the, the scaling of the service. You and I were talking before this interview and you said look we would love this to be as ubiquitous as Uber is where you can come out from a restaurant or a store and say boy I need to go here I'm gonna call a Joby. You know that you, there, there's going to be some limitations because of airspace, but you've got vertiports where you want to take off and land on the roofs of parking garages. So uh, the amazing thing about New York is existing structure, uh, but as because this aircraft is so quiet, just how markedly different it is in both the absolute noise and in the quality of the noise from traditional aircraft, that means we're going to be able to put skyports on the tops of buildings everywhere. and make You this expect them on the tops of buildings in New York City in multiple locations, correct? Exactly, and, and as, this, as the service scales, the network becomes more and more valuable. So every additional uh, Skyport you add can access any of the existing Skyports in the region. Why do I like this company? It's like Uber meets Tesla in the air. Can transform people's commute, stop gridlock, no impact on the climate, makes our cities healthier, redefines and transforms or reinvents modern transportation change our networks and also impacts on the fun factor so guys what do you think about this company going public please let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time